seated in heavenly places far above principalities and powers of darkness. Hallelujah. It is now time to hear the word of God. Amen. The counsel of God for a time such as this. Thank you, Jesus. All what happened today has been divinely orchestrated. The prayers Emil took, the songs they sang, was in line with what God is talking to the church today. If you are here and you don't, you are not yet to make heaven, please just go and sit home. Hallelujah. Because the reason why you are here is that you make heaven. Does that make any sense? I know we are rushing after cars. When it's time to go, those cars, you leave them there. Those houses, you leave them there. The first thing is to walk out your faith, your most holy faith. Again, God loves you and I as much as we love his word. King Saul was loved by God, but as soon as he rejected the word of God, when you go home, read 1 Kings 15, very important. As soon as he rejected the word of God, God rejected him. That's what the Bible says in 1 Kings 15. So please make up your mind to always come in his presence to know something new. To know something new about this king of kings. Because there is no one who knows too much. We all learn. Many times when I give a word here, it is for me, myself as well. Child, hallelujah. hallelujah. Child of God, the proof that you don't have value for the word of God, again, is when you are moving up and down when the word of God is coming forth. Another proof that you, don't, you lack value for the word of God is when you are chatting with your phone when the word of God is being preached. Jesus. Another proof that you lack value for the word is when before someone comes on here, you already know who will preach. You already have a favorite that you want to preach. Mercy God Lord. can use anyone. We are getting into a realm where even the kids will preach at Word of Amen. Amen. That is my mandate. I'm not here to say because you are age, you are older. No, no, no. In this kingdom, there's nothing like age. Child, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, I want us to know that when you lack value for the word of God, you will lack divine backing. Because it is a word of God that gives divine backing. The Lord was speaking to me yesterday or two days ago when I was preparing this note. Say many of them had failed because of divine, a lack of divine backing. I remember a gentleman came here and he was a pastor. And um, he, by prophecy, I said, you are doing a program at university and it doesn't have divine backing. Now, because he had student finance and everything was going well, he said, Pastor, something is not right with what you are saying. Because, I mean, year one going to year two, everything is fine. And in year two, by the end of year two, he called rushing and saying, Pastor, I just dropped out of university. You know why? Because he did not have the backing of God. And God spoke to me two days ago that many of them, they go ahead to do things without my backing and they expect me to come when they are stranded. And it does not work like that. So therefore, can you say with audacity, child of God, that the God of heaven is backing you up in that business? Can you say with audacity that you heard God about your studies? That you heard God about your marriage? That you heard God about your business? Can you say that with audacity? Because if you have not heard God, it's only a matter of time before things come crushing. That will not be your story in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mark 16 20, quickly because of time. Mark 16 20. Mark 16 20. I've not started my word. I'm giving you what God said. I should tell you this morning as well. And they went forth and they preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word with sign following. Amen. Amen. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times when you start a project and you hate God and the enemy is fighting you. Mm. Mm. Mm? There are times. But many times we go ahead and make plans and expect God to back them. And God said, many of them are failing because they only get me involved when they are stranded. Mercy. The question is not why you are delayed, but did you hear God? Did you secure the backing of God before you went ahead into that venture? The Bible speaking in Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. When you do what you want to do, you are leaning on your own understanding. That is why we pray our Father who has in heaven, hallowed be the name that kingdom God. Thy will be done on earth in as my life as it is in heaven. heaven. That tells you that anything you want to do that it has God's backing is already done in heaven. Amen. So you are only bringing it forth on earth, and when you do that, God confirms it. Amen. The backing of God. That's why you heard the Bible says, David, inquire of the Lord at all times. He wanted the backing of God before he went ahead to do anything. So therefore, child of God, divine backing is simply the involvement of the monarch of heaven in all our pursuits and our human endeavors. And God began to show me that the reason why many of us fail in certain areas of our life is because we did not secure the backings of God before we venture things. Again, I'll ask you the question, in that business, did you hear God? In that career, did you hear God? In that project that you started, did you hear God? I told you a story. Last two years, we wanted to start building. And God said, not so. And he gave us a precise time to build. And as soon as that time came, even before that time, the finances were provided for. Amen. Once you have the backing of God, what happens? You have the provision of God. of God. Once you have the backings of God, provisions are automatic. You don't struggle, sir. That is why as a ministry for three or four years, we've never borrowed. We've never lacked. It's not a matter of how we pay the lease. No, sir. In fact, we can pay for the next three years in advance. My God. Thank you, Jesus. When you have the backings of God, provision. And not that we will ask anybody to come and help us with electricity. Like I said, every day here is 50 pounds. But even if it's 3,000 pounds, we can still pay. Without any sweat. Why? Amen. The backings of, of God. God. Every time God is connected to what you are doing, sir, you will not struggle. But many of us go ahead and carry on projects without asking him what he's saying. You want to travel this year, God said, I should tell you, please ask me first. Child of God, have you committed God to the affairs of your life? God sent me today for only five persons to tell someone that he's only committed to what he is connected to. Amen. He's only committed to what you have committed to him. Amen. He's only committed to what you have connected to him. I prophesy to the five persons hearing the sound of my voice. Whatever manipulates you not to remember to involve God in yes. the affairs of your life, Jesus. I command the altar to cash out. Amen. I command the altar to cash out. Amen. I command the altar to cash out. Amen. I command the altar to cash out. I decree and I declare all that you have lost by reason of not involving God. All that the canker on us eating. All that the power on us eating. I decree in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to pray one prayer in your seated position. Say it with me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Show Jesus. Show me mercy, O Lord. Show me mercy, O Lord. Whatever I started. Whatever I started. Without getting you involved. Without getting you involved. I ask for mercy. I ask for mercy, Lord. Lord by your mercy. Lord, restore all I may have lost. Restore all that I may restore have lost. my delays. Restore my delays as a result of this. As a result Open of your this. mouth in the next 15 seconds and pray. Ask him for mercy. Lord, be merciful, Lord. 
Father, as they pray, give them divine battle. Restore. All that they went ahead to do without getting involved. Lion of the tribe of Judah, show them mercy. Show us all mercy. Show us all mercy and restore. We receive divine battle. In our lives, in my life, we receive divine battle. Lord, I receive your divine We receive divine battle. We receive divine battle. Every area, we receive divine battle. Of our we life. receive the divine backing, oh Lord. I commit it to we your receive hands, oh Lord. divine backing. We receive divine backing. I receive divine backing, oh Lord. Thank you, my Father. We love you, Master Thank Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. We celebrate you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Your yeah, amen is not loud enough. Amen. Have you noticed that you finish doing something and then before you start thinking, did I ask God? It's a manipulation, sir. That's why Paul said, you foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you? It's a manipulation. Sometimes many of us, if when you finish putting the food in your mouth, then you remember, oh, I did not pray. It's not normal. You see what? A manipulation. Because prayer is the key. In everything you do, sir, you must involve God. Because you might be eating poison food. But by you, when you pray, prayer is an answer in the spirit. Prayer is a ladder in the spirit. You are praying for poison food. It turns to vitamin. You cannot poison, you cannot poison me. Nobody can poison you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nobody can poison a prayerful man, sir. Because when he's in the sacred place with the Lord, he accumulates fire. When he my says God, a word, my God. things began to turn fire. in the realm of the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Quickly, this morning is a month of preparation. My God. And we have been running on that series since January. We've already established. What I said in the last five minutes will save someone's life here. Amen. I'm telling you. Thank you, sir. What I said in the last five minutes, I'm telling you, it will save someone's one life here. Amen. Never get to a point where you think it is okay to go into any venture without asking God. As small as traveling. We've heard testimonies of a lady who came and I said, don't travel. And she traveled. And Sometimes I don't know where you guys are running to. Going to the same place that they don't want you alive. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time you ask God, he will tell you. And we said in last Sunday service that in order to smile, to have our expectation met in 2021 and beyond, we must take what? Responsibility in the beginning. We went on to say that taking responsibility also means giving expression, child of God, to that inner voice that seeks to be heard. There's a voice in you that wants to be heard. My, the voice in me is to win at least a billion souls. The voice in me is to travel around the world. The Amen. voice in me is to touch at least one million homeless orphans with, house, with houses, with permanent houses. Amen. That's the voice in me. That's the voice in me. So there's something in you that cries out for expression. My is God. that small, still voice? Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Taking responsibility is riding to, rising up to the occasion. Today we have me, me, majestic men around this world who want to just fold their legs on a sofa and the woman goes and walks and comes and gives them. Error. If you are dating such a man, disconnect now. That's not a man. He's a bong boy. Boy. Mercy, Lord. It's an Mercy. irresponsible man. He, that kind of, now nah, I've diverted, but the Holy Ghost is speaking. Yes, sir. That, that, that kind of a man will make you be a liability to your generation. That's what is happening now. Men just sitting on the sofa watching movies. You see a man, 45 years old, he's playing video game. No job. And you, you, are, you are so desperate to stay with that kind of a man. In this kingdom, you don't know who you are. The Bible says you are a royal pursuit, a holy So you cannot put, you, you can't put a lion with a cockroach. Right? It's not possible. <laughs> yeah, the error. You must know who you are. If he's not bringing any money, now, don't get me wrong. If you are already married, that's fine. You, you sign your, your, your will yourself. 
Now you become a prayer point. That's right. That's right. That's right. So your prayer point will be more. Amen. That if you are not yet married, you are the one I'm talking to. My God. He meets you. What job do you do? Next question. Adam had job. Adam had work. Adam had work. Don't think a man is a spiritual project. Hey, I'm diverted now. Don't, <laughs> don't think a man is a spiritual project. No, sir. That you say, I will just manage it. I will just pray for you. You can change nobody. You can change nobody. It is the Holy Ghost that changes people. That's right. You cannot convert a caterpillar to a butterfly. That's right. No, sir, you don't have the don't ability. I don't want to divert. Sir, preach on, preach on. <laughs> I don't want to hey. divert. Ta, ta, ta. Taking responsibility is knowing the right thing to do. Doing it at the right time without holding back, without making excuses, without procrastination. So that literally means applying the principles to give you here in church. There's something I wanted to say. Some of you, when I make altar call, just run in front. Today, when I make altar call, some of you, some people, there are three classes of people here, sitting here. The first class are those who come to church. They think they are so smart. They'll sit there and take notes. For them, they are fooling pastor. And then, when they are going home, they'll leave their notebook for me. <laughs> when I make an altar call run, because you need to repent. Sir, though I come here every morning, I see notebooks. Sometimes I see Bible. I see what? Bible. Bible. Those are the first class of people. They leave their notebook for pastor. <laughs> Check the notes for you. <laughs> the second class of people, sir. They come to church. No notebook. <laughs> they are too wise. They have a computer in their head. No Bible. It's like a farmer who goes to the farm without a class. No Bible. No notebook. And when the rema is hot, you see they cut, cut me a piece of paper, cut me a piece of paper. <laughs> and they'll be jotting things. But guess what? At the end of the day, don't leave their notebook, the, the paper for pastor. <laughs> you, you need to repent twice. Mercy. When I call another call, come in front. Come twice. <laughs> the third set are those who come. They bring notebook. They bring double Bible. They bring three pen. <laughs> They are tired. They copy everything copyable. Mercy, Lord. But as soon as they go home, they just throw it somewhere else. And they carry on with their life as if they were not in church. Business as usual. And then they only look for that book again the next Sunday. Son Some Sundays they don't find it. Mercy so they still Lord. come with another notebook. Because they have so many notebooks. <laughs> when I make an altar call, come in front. You are the one I'm talking to. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mercy. Lord. James Mercy. 1, 22, 25. But be what? Doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. That is why last Sunday, child of God, in the first service, we talked about what? The importance of taking personal responsibility to do what? For your salvation. No, to be your faith. Build your faith yeah. Number two, the importance of taking personal responsibility in the second service, we said you must, what did we say? Second service. You must be in his presence and be hungry for what? For an encounter. an encounter. Again, in this service, what are the responsibilities we need to take this year in order for our expectation to be met and to carry the fire of God? Mr. Isaac, thank you. This microphone, it looks nice. I don't need to struggle. This year, 2021, you must take personal responsibility to build on your spirituality. On what? Your spirituality. spirituality. Genuinely and consistently. You must take personal responsibility to do what? To build on your spirituality genuinely and consistently. Today, I am teaching. I'm not preaching. Why? Because life is spiritual. Amen. And you can only make generational impact by building on your spirituality. This year, you must make up your mind to grow your spirituality. Or else, child of God, you may end up a liability. But that will not be your story in the name of Jesus. First Samuel 2.26, quickly, it says, First Samuel 2.26, Yeah, O heaven, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. No, that's not it. First Samuel 2.26, thank you, media. 
1 Samuel 2, 26. Thank you. It says, and the child Samuel grew on and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. Amen. My version here says, and the boy Samuel, he continued to grow in stature. What does that mean? In the word, in fellowship, in communion, in intimacy with God. So, no doubt he could hear God like a loudspeaker. Many of us can hear nothing. No, no, no. Thing. We cannot hear anything. Why? Because we are the third set of people I just mentioned. We come to church, take notes, go home, and do nothing about it. Let's see computer 318, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forevermore. Second Peter 318. Grow. You must grow. If I need to drum this in your ears, I'll drum it in your ear. You have no excuse. Many of us say, I don't have time. Moi, Pastor, that's why you call me on Saturday, you'll not get me. Because I am building my own faith. My salvation is more important if you don't know. Grow in the knowledge, in the grace and in the knowledge. You must grow. It's your personal responsibility to grow. It's not Pastor's responsibility. You must grow. It doesn't matter how a woman takes her breast and put it on the mouth of a child, a baby. If he doesn't suck, he will die hungry. That's right. Her, her role is just to put there. His role is to take responsibility, even as little as he is, to suck. You must, he must suck. He must suck it. If he doesn't suck, he will not eat. Does that make any sense? You must take responsibility to grow your faith in Christ Jesus. Enough of this this, this Christianity, this Sunday Christianity, there is more to God than just coming to church on a Sunday, sir. Amen. If you don't take responsibility to build your spirituality, there are realms you never enter. There are ways, there are connections, there are directions, there are counsel you'll never get from God. Many of you have problems now looking at me, but you can never spend a day praying on your own, except it's corporate. You must make up your mind to build your spirituality. Child of God is very dangerous to live in a world like this, a wicked world, to be physically strong and spiritually weak. It is dangerous to be physically beautiful, talented, and spiritually weak. It is dangerous to be physically rich and spiritually weak. Many of us looking at me now, we are very careless with our spiritual work. But I don't know about you. I've learned a long time ago that to have our expectation met any year, we must understand the law of spirituality. Firstly, the law of spirituality demands that you and I, we put restriction on certain things. It demands that we put limitation on certain things. It demands that we put restriction. The law of spirituality demands you put restriction. Sir, you can't be talking on the phone at 12 midnight to a yeyetic boyfriend because he's yeyetic. 12 midnight is time to pray. Men ought to, to pray. pray. If he's telling you that you should be chatting at 12 midnight, he's not a man. He's a bong boy boy. It might be Sweden you are talking to him, eh? but you don't know. 12 midnight, when principalities <laughs> and agents of darkness, that's when they arise from coffins. Mm. That's when they arise from coffins. That's when they fly in the air, looking for who oh, to devour. And you are there chatting. You are careless with your spirituality. Mercy, man. That boy is taking you nowhere, he's taking you to hell. You may not like me now, but you'll thank me later. Thank you, Jesus. When you should be praying, you are chatting. Error between 12 midnight and 4 a.m. Sir, nobody should call you. Nobody should call, call you. you. Nobody is an error of the highest, cap of the highest capacity. Because that's when witches are... You need to see things in the realm of the spirit. You'll be scared for your life. Mercy, man. That's what the Bible says. Walk out. Your own salvation with fear and trembling. You are doing what you are doing because you cannot see in the realm of the spirit. You cannot. You cannot. It's an error. It's an error. Child of God, I want to submit to you. 
many of us don't have restrictions. And a life of no boundary is a life of chaos. There's a way that cement rise, but the end of it is what? Destruction. If the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? A boy comes to you and says, I want to get married to you, but all he does is you are only chatting, no praying. As worse as midnight is, you are chatting at midnight. That foundation is totally broke. It's useless. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 11, 3. If the foundation be broken, what can they? Now, what I'm saying, 10 years from now, you will remember this with all your heart. We read a verse the other day, it says, in the last days which we are now, one, uh, seven women will clean to one, one man. man. You are single, make your choices well now. You have made the wrong choice, go on your knees and pray. Because polygamy will be trending. You see iPhone now. That's how polygamy. The Bible says women will come to a man with seven or six other women and say, let me just have your child. So if you don't marry a man who is spiritual now, you think I can marry two women? Not possible. Not possible. Why? Because my Bible is contrary to that. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now, let me tell you something. The desire of every man is to have more than one wife. You are joking. I know that you guys are so spiritual. spiritual. Oh, yeah. Holier than thou. Sam, Sam is just holding the... the <laughs> he doesn't want to shout, Yeah, pastor! <laughs> you have said it. <laughs> he, he's just holding it inside. <laughs> If a man is not spiritual, his desire he wants to taste. I'm telling you, sir. If a man is not spiritual, his desire he wants to taste. Everyone. Mm -hmm. But when you have a spiritual man, mm -hmm. he is not ruled by the dictates of the world. No. No, today, today they are doing something called Valentine's Day. It's a demonic celebration. I don't want to talk about it. I'm saying that from personal revelation. It's what a demonic. That's why I see women today, girls, young girls, they'll go and sleep with a, a guy. Some of them are not even in church. They, are go, they will sleep at the boy. Today they'll go and cook for the boyfriend. Clean, cleaning things that are not cleanable. In the name of love. Love is not on a certain day. Love is shackles you every day. Sir, so, there is nothing I want to do for her now that I have not done before. That's right. Nothing. Now, if you want to go out with your wife today for a meal, that's fine. Mm. But don't tag Valentine. No, sir. And it should not be, be on some days. It should be every. You want to buy your wife flower? You can buy a flower every. It will not cost you anything. You can buy a flower for a pound and just say, darling, I thought about you. This is a flower. A pound. A, you'll be surprised how happy she'll be. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, sir. I don't want to go into Valentine. I can preach a whole day for Valentine. Yeah. Child, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, hallelujah. Child of God, <laughs> you are in church every day. That you are in church yeah. every day does not guarantee <laughs> your tomorrow. If you are careless with your spirituality. Yes, Child of God, that you married a doctor does not guarantee both of you good health. If both of you are careless with your health. If both of you are, you can marry a banker. If he's not spiritual, he can be so broke. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've seen broke bankers. They have no savings. They owe the bank. Someone counting money and owes the bank. They owe the bank they work for. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> that your marriage does not guarantee happiness. No, sir. Some of us are rushing. Want to get married? We can do anything to get married. As soon as someone says, I want to get married to you, we'll give him 10 numbers. If he asks for one number, we'll say, this, I have this other number. I have this. You will give him all your numbers. You will give him even your house number. Take even the house number. Sometimes they'll give you the house key. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. It does not guarantee happiness. Happiness. It does not. What guarantees happiness? Happiness. Spirituality. 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 So you meet a guy or a woman. First thing, which church do you go to? Do you believe in tithing? Do you go to church every Sunday? Who is your pastor? They will not if they don't if they are not going to church, they'll give you a fake name. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, where is your house? 
not, are we going out tonight? Error. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my short time doing counseling in ministry, I've heard all sorts of complaints, child of God. So we must place restrictions in everything we do this year. That's what God said I should tell someone. Someone once said, Pastor, my husband always wants to sleep with my friends. Oh, there are men like that. There are men who can't keep it in their trousers. My husband, every time my friend comes home, she always wants to sleep with them. Now, number one, I said, you have the wrong kind of friend. It is only the day you invite your friends home that she wear something that will be showing everything. She has arrested her front, arrested her back, and all her legs are showing. Coming like that to a married body. What is she doing? Now, men don't just react like that, most of us. You understand what I'm saying? If not, they'll go to a, 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 a mother. A mother in the, in the, I don't know, not, not, those one wearing. Reverend sister. You, have you ever seen a man, if you say, oh, yeah, my, my mind is a flex, and then he goes to a reverend sister, reverend sister, I like you. Eh? Is, it, is it possible? Because she's hiding everything. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I say the fact that your man wants to sleep with your friends, one, you have the wrong friends. Secondly, your friends are showing him things that he's not supposed to be seeing. So what do you do? Spirituality demands that you cut off from such friends. Amen. People who dress anyhow, summer you wear anything. Summer is coming. You'll see people who go to church on Sunday, Monday, they are, they, their skirts are like this. What you are showing, we don't know. Once I've seen already, why will I pay your bride price? I've seen. Does that make sense, sir? Make sense. I've seen. Make sense, sir. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. And again, I can say this for sure. Many of us claim to be Christians, but we are living a scattered life. We have scattered friends because we have refused to build on our spirituality. Now, if you ask anyone in my house, who is my friend? I don't have a friend. I don't even have social media. I don't have what? Social media. Because the temptation starts there. Some of you go on social media, you are seeing things and you are still there. You are still seeing. You are looking. In fact, the things you are looking at are things you are not supposed to look. Solomon said, I made a covenant with my, my eyes. eyes that I may not see. It starts from looking, and after that, something that you've told yourself I will not do, you end up beginning to desire to do them. Ladies, there are times you should not pick certain calls, especially when you should be praying because life is spiritual and not physical. Now, you, many ladies don't understand how we operate. Now, royalties, royal men, you is a lady. Have that relationship. Then 9 o'clock, tell him that after 9, I don't talk. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> tell him that after 9, Respect I don't talk. My God. He will go around, but in his head, he knows that he has seen a, the, right one. A right, the right one. There are restrictions you have to place in relationship. Amen. You say you are dating and uh, you, 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 you are with the person in a dark in a dark place, at midnight, for one hour, for two hours. What are you talking? What are you talking at midnight on your phone for three hours? You can want to do a simple dating relationship, and you are, you are doing it like married people so do it, okay. and not expect married people's emotion to enter. Oh my God. I don't know how I put it, if, if it's right. Yeah, it's clear. You can't be dating someone and you are doing what married people are doing and you don't expect the feelings that married people develop to come in that dating relationship. And that's the reason why many people are in relationships now, they want to go out because their foundation is broken. Shaking. Broken. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are people you must cut off from if you want to build your spirituality. Now someone who comes, every time they talk to you, they are fighting you. And you're still there, thinking that someday they will change. change. No, sir, it does not work like that. Yeah, 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 I yeah. discover that people don't change. Every time you talk to this person, he's fighting you on the phone. She is fighting you, and you are still there, thinking that one day, somehow, out of the blue, things will become better. And you take your legs and your head that are belong to God, and you go and enter that kind of a marriage. 2 Timothy 3, 1, 5. But mark this. 
there will be terrible times in the last days. People, let's read together. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. I want us all to read. Let your voices sound like thunder. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. Let's read verse 1. It says, This know also, also that, that in the, the last days, days perilous times time shall come. come. Are we in perilous yes, times? we are. No doubt we are. we are. Verse 2. For men shall be lovers, shall be lovers of, of their, their own, own self. self. Are we in those times? Right, sir. Okay, this is a way to choose your friends. When you see these criteria, run for your life. Look at that. For men shall be lovers of their own self. There are people you stand with them for five minutes, you are angry. Because everything, my car, my house, my this, my this. Lovers of themselves. Covetous, boasters, proud, black famous, disobedient to your parents. You meet, a, you meet a guy and he's fighting with his mother. Oh, and you are still there. That is your marriage you just saw. If you marry them, that's your marriage. That's a sign of danger God is showing you. My God. A man who cannot respect his mother cannot respect you. Forget it. That's it. A man who cannot respect his mother cannot respect. Maybe at the beginning, you know, as I said, every time a man is dating you, it is two people pretending, pretending. to be good. So in the beginning, he'll give you flowers. <laughs> in the beginning, he'll open doors for you. <laughs> gentleman. I just met a gentleman. Sorry. Yeah, joking. <laughs> Five minutes now. I'm not even starting my this day. I'm telling me five minutes there. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says what? <laughs> for men shall... Be, give me ten more minutes, please. For men shall be lovers of their own self. Covetous, boasters, proud, black, disobedient, disobedient to parents, parents unthankful, unthankful, unholy, unholy. quick. First three. Thank you, Media. Without, Without natural, natural affection, affection truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, fierce despisers, despisers of those that are good. Verse five. Traitors, traitors heady, high-minded, lovers, lovers of pleasure, of pleasure more, more than, than lovers of God. Say, babe, are we going clubbing today? And yet, he has never held your hand to say, let us pray. That's a lover of pleasure more than a lover of God. Verse 5, let's see. It says what? Verse 5. It says, having, having a form of godliness, but divine, deny the power thereof. From, from such ten away. I'm not the one who said it. The Bible said it. From such, when you see any of those characters in any man, you are not yet married to, run. If you are married, you are married there for life. You are not going anywhere. You must finish your fufu. Even if the soup is finished, you must cook soup and finish your fufu. Hallelujah. You Mercy must finish Lord. your fufu. Mercy, Lord. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you still have friends who have any of this, delete them before they kill your spirituality. So this year and beyond, the first thing you should look out for before you get involved with any venture spiritually, this is what God was telling me two days ago. You want to start a business with a business partner. First thing you ask the business partner, do you pay tithe? If they don't, that business is just, is just hanging on a thread. It is what? Hanging on, on a, a thread. thread. You meet a man, first thing, who is your pastor? You must, first of all, look at spirituality. Forget this thing, oh, he's honest, he's, 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 he's trustworthy. Everybody can pretend when you're dating them. First thing is your spirituality. Where are you taking this family to? Spiritually. Shout out, hallelujah. Play something, please. It's too quiet in here. I know of men who pretended for 10 years. You don't understand. 10 years only to disappear after they've crippled a woman. A singer came here in this church. Yeah. He was not even afraid. He was asking for almost every girl's number. Someone was falling under the power. I have not told you, sir. I don't need to tell you everything. Falling under the power, sir. So spiritual. Hallelujah. One, he's married. Two, he has a girlfriend. Three, so they're acting holier than thou. And because they've seen him singing so well, naturally you think this is spirit. That's not spirituality. Spirituality is not what you see with your physical eyes. Spirituality is not what you see with your physical hey. eyes. Thank you, Someone Jesus. can be singing and the power of God is falling, but by the standards of God, I don't know you. So you must ask for that spirit of discernment to be able to know exactly where they are with Christ. I know of a woman who pretended and even had a child for a man. 
The man was here. The woman was in Cameroon. The man borrowed money, sir. Borrowed. She was so spiritual. They always pray on the phone. <laughs> borrowed money. Went to Cameroon. Brought her to, to, to Europe. He ended, she ended up sleeping with a friend and left him. They are joking. There are people who can pretend. You must be spiritual to descend. My father gave the story. Two different stories. The first story was a girl. She was in Nigeria. Husband in America. They've been apart for 10 years. Okay? 10 good years. So they've been communicating. They've been talking. After 10 years, the 11 year, the man was having his relationship in Europe. Had three children married in Europe. He came down to Nigeria with the three children, with the wife, and told that girl that was wasting her time in Nigeria, I don't want you anymore. She passed out. Another story, the same kind of story, this one, Nigeria, Canada, 13 years relationship. But this lady, even though she was relying on the man to come marry her and take her to Canada, she was building her spirituality. <laughs> it's this kind of old-time Christians. They, she was steadily building her Christianity. Steadily building up her spirituality. And the man came down after 13 years and said, I don't want you again. She was a singer in the choir. She, she felt bad for some weeks. But after that, she dust herself. You know why? She has built her spirituality. When you build your spirituality, you can stand with audacity. Yeah, yeah. And no matter the disappointment, you said, My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the yeah. earth. Sir, today in Nigeria, she's one of the best singers. Amen. She built her spirituality. Sir, nobody can disappoint you when you have built your spirituality. Nobody. Focus nobody. On Jesus. Focus on Jesus. That people came here, they left before they left with you, okay. and then they left. It, it, it has not touched us one bit. Okay. The what we do, I went and family so you leave. There's nothing you'll say because there's nothing you have seen wrong. Mm. So all you do is, as you build your spirituality, make sure you do not do something out of the equation. The one thing you must understand is that when a man leaves you, God has a better man. Amen. They left us because they were not meant to be with us. Yes. Because if they were meant to be with us, they would have stayed with us. That's right. That's right. Build your spirituality. No shaky. Amen. Romans 8, 28. And all things work together for good. For, good. for those who love God. Lord. When you love God, you'll be your spirituality. Yes, Lord. And accord according to his purpose. No matter what happens, you dust yourself. Carry on. Sir. Me, I'm not looking for number. I can say this again and again and again. You want to come to church, you are welcome. You don't want to come, stay at home. Baba you. No, 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 Baba you. <laughs> Mercy, Lord. You want to put me in trouble? <laughs> if they send you, say you did not see me. <laughs> because when this service finishes, food waiting for you at home, I'll be answering questions. <laughs> That you made me answer. <laughs> Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Neighbor. This is 2021. This is 2021. Sharpen your spiritual antennas. Sharpen your spiritual antenna. Or else. Or else. You may not be able. You may not be able. The weight of the attacks the weight, the weight that are coming. Attacks, Whether you know it or not, you will face attacks this year. But when your spirituality is intact, sir. It's like, it's like any other day. That's why I say you win every day. So I win every, every day. day. Because every day. Today, I read about 25 chapters. Amen. What that does is it prepares me. It builds me up for the uh, challenges that are coming. Matthew. You guys don't understand why we say read your Bible. Jesus. So it may not look like anything is entering you. Keep doing it. You'll be surprised. Two people can be going through the same challenge, but you realize that one is standing, the other one is lamenting, complaining, mourning. He's tired of life. Why do you think people commit suicide? They are not prepared for the challenges that That's are coming. Right. Whether you know it or not, this year you will face challenges. The devil does not go on holiday. 
you care, you go on holiday. Now, this big mentality of people, they are married and they have problems in their family, and they are saying, let's go on holiday. Let's go and make up this relationship on a holiday. You are a joker. You are a joker. You go on holiday, it will be, it will be temporary. When you come back, a bigger one will hit you, sir. That's right. Because you are not operating on a spiritual level. Instead of praying, you are saying, let's go on holiday to go. That's what the world does. Let's go on holiday to go and make it up. You'll make it up on holiday, no, that for a week. Then you'll come back. The devil will wait for you. Look, enjoy yourself. I'm waiting for you at home. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thing God showed me is that every other character, not backed up by spirituality, will has limit. Physical attractiveness has limit. That's right. Does that make sense? Amen. Money has limit. Amen. Does that make sense? Right. Physical strength has limit. That is why the strength that comes from your beauty and your talent has limits. Right. The beautiful ones are not even married. In this age and time, you'll be surprised. The ugly one are the one getting married. Amen. And you'll be wondering, you'll look at them, the beauty and the beast. You'll think God has forgotten you. Mercy, Lord. No, you don't like it when I talk like this. You'll see one lady, she's just walking anyhow. Her tummy has particles. And you see one fine man with a six-pack that you're looking for. And then he's holding the hand of that lady. And you're like, Chai, this life no balance. <laughs> this life no balance. <laughs> what did he have for this life? This life no balance. This life no balance. Mercy, Lord. <laughs> have you not seen that? No, no, I'm not just talking, but I see that every time. Yes, sir. And you see the beautiful life ones. Beautiful ones, sir. That's why celebrities are hardly married. Yes. Because the thing is by money, sir. It's not by money. Life money. is spiritual. spiritual. Thank you, Jesus. Money will fail. Money has limits. Talent has limits. Mm. A, a, a beauty has, has limits. Even your certificates have limits. That's right. You don't hit your chest. I have a PhD. I've seen people with two passports, Spain passport, a UK passport, and USA passport. But they don't have a job. They have a PhD, no job. And then you see someone who just did a normal funny course. And he's the, he's, he's, he's the boss of those who have gone to school That's more. Right. Life no balance. Oh. You need spirituality to balance life. Amen. <laughs> Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help me to build up my spirituality. Help me to build up my spirituality. Thank you, Jesus. It doesn't matter what that guy gives you this Christmas, Valentine, Valentine's Valentine Day, they call it. It's not for us. We organize Amen. Valentine. Yeah. Amen. The only thing we'll do when we get a place is during Valentine, we'll organize seminars. That's right. So that evening, five something, we'll fix the place nicely. Singles and married will come in. We'll organize seminars. We eat. Then and come. But that's it. We are not celebrating Valentine. We are building our relationships. That's right. That's what we'll do. Hallelujah. There's nothing like Valentine anywhere. No matter the gifts he gives you now. No matter the love it shows you today, it has a limit. limit. It has a limit. It has a limit. All that is good if he's doing it every day. Every day. Or one now and again. Child of God, the strength that comes from your certificates, your academics have limit. Time will fail me, but the strength that comes from connection, honesty, truth, not backed up by God, has what? Limit. But I came to announce that when your strength is built on your spirituality, I can assure you that you will be breaking protocols in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Tell them that I've seen. Five more minutes. Hallelujah. Tell them that I've seen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Colossians 2, 6 to 7. Quickly. Colossians 6, 2, 6 to 7. Colossians 2, 6 to 7. It says what? As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him, him. not on some days daily. daily. When you are doing that, what are you doing? You are building up your spiritual muscles. Amen. Rooted and built up in him. Look at that. And stabilized in the faith. As ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Child of God, I want to submit to you that you may be married now. You may have a business now. You may have a car now. But things may change. Things may do what? Change. For the good or for the bad. Things may change. Why? 
Change is the only constant thing in nature. You don't build up your spirituality, things will change for the worse. That will not be your story in the name of Jesus. Amen. You build up your spirituality, things will change for the Amen. best. That will be your story in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't like that. Amen at all. Amen. No matter how things change, child of God, what will give you mastery over life-changing challenges, circumstances, is the spiritual energy you build up daily in your work with God. Ephesians 3, 14, 19. For this cause, I bow down my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 3, 14. For the, I do what? I bow down my knees. Why do you bow down your knees? To receive strength for eventuality. To receive strength that will carry you in times of difficulties, in times of rough circumstances. The, those who wait on the Lord will do what? They will renew their strength. They will mount up on wings as eagles. They will walk and not faint. They will run. And never be weary. That's what you did for this, for this fast 40 days fasting and prayer. Proverbs 24, 10. If the faith, if the faith in the days of adversary, what? The strength is small. Therefore, building spiritual capacity and muscle is building strength in your inner man. I prophesy to the five person that God sent me to today. That kind of strength is entering you now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not give up on anything this year in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not give up on anything this year in the name Amen. of Jesus. Whatever you start this year, back by God, you will surely finish it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah 9, 23, 24. Thou says the Lord. Jeremiah 9, 23, 24. Let's read together. 3, 2, 1. It says what? Thou said the Lord. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Next verse, please. 24. But let him that glory glory in this, that is understanding and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight in them, said the Lord. So have this mentality never to boast about your money, about your career about your children, about your beauty, about your cars, about your husband, about anything that God has given you. Because child of God, all that may fail. But when your strength is in the Lord, you will say like David, my help is of the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Even money will fail. Many of us are rushing after shift, but our spiritual life is weak. Physically strong, financially, spiritually weak. That's an error. It's just a matter of time. And this is not a prophecy of doom. Because there are things that money cannot attend to. There are things that money cannot attend to. No, where, are, where are the billionaires? There are things that money cannot. Money can give you security, but it cannot protect you. Money can give you a good doctor, but it cannot preserve your health. There are things that money cannot attend to. Psalms 81 14 says, How quickly. I will subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. That tells you, child of God, that it is God. It is the God that you put in you that will subdue your enemies. Not you subduing them. It is a God you put inside you that will subdue your enemy. Now, I submit to you as a roundup at any year. The enemies that fight you that you don't know are more than the enemies that are fighting you that you know. The reason why they still press you in your dream is because your spiritual capacity is not strong enough. Sir, I submit to you, nobody can press me in my dream. Sir, you can't come out of the second place we've got for nine hours with 25 chapters and they still come and press you. It's not possible. The reason why they still press you is because you are not building your spiritual capacity. When you build your spiritual capacity... While you sleep, you close your eyes. The Spirit of God takes over the battles. Amen. You don't understand. But when your spiritual capacity is not bound, what happens? As you sleep, they will press you. Even to shout, Jesus will be a problem. Hallelujah. 
whoever has been through that experience, it ends by this encounter in the name of Jesus. Amen. This year, as you build your spiritual capacity, anywhere they gather to press you, it shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall backfire in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. From this altar, I prophesy. Receive the strength and the courage you need to take what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, I thank thank you, Lord. you for the thank word that came. Jesus. Make that word your own. Thank you for your word. All Lord, those Lord. things that be not as though thank they you are. For your word that came Unleash today. scriptures now. Thank Open your mouth. You thank you. I refuse to be a word of your word. Lord, make, make me a doer. Help me to build my spiritual capacity. Something Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Something more than God. Something more than God. I've got something more than God. If all I got is Jesus. I've got something more than God. Jesus is more than God. Something more than God. I've got something more. You don't believe it, that's why you're not singing. When you have Jesus, you have something more than good. If all I have is Jesus, I have something more than good. I tell it to the whole world. Jesus is more than good. I have something more than good. If all I have is Jesus. One prayer and we go. Romans 8.4 In order that the righteous requirement Romans 8.4 In order that the righteousness of the law Lord, might be fulfilled in us We walk, walk not, not after, after the flesh but after, after the spirit. spirit Can I submit to you child of God It is your flesh that makes you not build up your spiritual capacity so let's pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of help Jesus, help me in my spiritual walk help with you. Help me in my spiritual walk with you. Help my spiritual senses. Help my spiritual to senses to come alive now. Come alive now. Help me to live with a sound. Help me, O oh Lord, that you are releasing in the atmosphere. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Open your mouth. Make it real as a prayer. Let us go to the kitchen. My soul is fire. Let us go to the kitchen. Let us go to the kitchen. My soul is fire.
Thank you and thank you, Lord. Thank you, my God. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Child of God, NES, when you build your spirituality, you know when you're watching a movie and the actor is probably going to a place where they set a bomb, the Holy Ghost gives you the signal of the heart. Now, that's what happened in that movie. In that movie, when they're about to kill the actor, even you watching it, you can already sense the danger. Sometimes the music changes. <laughs> Does that make any sense? When you build your spirituality, sir, you cannot fall in a trap. Amen. Except God allows you to go through it. When you are watching a movie, when there's a danger sign, you know. No. Sometimes you'll be sitting there watching, watching that movie. I say, yeah, don't go there, don't go there. There's a trap. Same thing in the realm of the spirit. Same thing in the realm of spirit. Right. You come out of your house, you say, I'm going to work. And the Holy Ghost will speak to you. Don't go to work that day. They set a trap for you out there. You come out of your house and you see poison with your physical eye. This is spiritual thing. Why? You have built your spirituality. The Holy Ghost in you will begin to give you signs of danger in your heart. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Such circumstances are released a blessing. I prophesy upon your lives. Wherever the enemy thought you could not make it, I prophesy that they will see you grow and increase in that same place in the name of Jesus. From today to those hearing the sound of my voice, I declare upon your life that anything you do from now, you will do it well in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost by which I speak and preach. From this moment forward, I prophesy, let your life make use in the name of Jesus. Let your destiny make use in the name of Jesus. Let your generation hear about you in the name of Jesus. Let your voice be heard in the name of Jesus. That thing in you that seeks your expression, after now it will come out in the name of Jesus. Whatever you pray for this man, take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Shout, I receive you. It is done in Jesus' name. Let us share the grace. May the grace. Of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.